headed to the famed Russifeld Winery, Traveler. Well then, it seems I'm not the only one who'll be disappointed today. Old Hallimorian's been offed by those wood elves. Won't be any wine tastings for a while, I'd wager. Just what I heard from one of the bailiffs. Apparently, some daffy Bosmer called the Ghost of the Green did it, but no one knows for sure. The investigations hit a snag. Something about the rule of three. Superstitious nonsense, if you ask me. Indeed. Until they find a suitable third investigator, the Juris Reeves and Revelators are left to sit on their hands. Nonsense. Why not go lend them a hand? They'll likely just tell you to go jump into the sea, but it can't hurt to ask. An examiner's quorum needs three members. You both know this. Not this again. And just again. like that, Ori L provides. Greetings, Caraval. I am Chief Juris Reef Tarnamir of the Divine Prosecution. Or at least I was, in the long ago. I know this is unorthodox, but perhaps you'd be interested in helping us. As you can see, a murder took place here. My protégés, Lorne and Soraville, came to investigate, but I fear they may lack perspective. The particulars of this murder... Forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. They need fresh eyes. Yours, I believe. You would take on the duties of the Admonon, the Listening Eye. An auspicious role. The Admonon serves as the fulcrum, balancing competing theories. They also collect evidence, interview suspects and the like. What do you say? I thank the Divines that you've agreed to help. This murder weighs heavy on all of us. The victim, Alamorian, was not well liked. Many locals may lift a glass to his passing, but the assassin, the Ghost of the Green, that's altogether different. Better to ask Lorne about it. Capturing the Ghost was her obsession for a time. The fact that he's returned does not sit well with her. I can say no more. I don't want to prejudice your impressions. The Admonon should bring a fresh perspective. They're the most gifted investigators I've ever trained. Soraville has keen eyes and solid instincts when it comes to reading people. Good at finding pressure points, you know? As for Lorne, she has a mind like a dwarven puzzle box. For Lorne, logic is an art. She's clinical in her sensibilities. Precise. Many of us have come to rely on magical inquiry to solve crimes. She relies on her wits and intuition instead. Of course, this case presents unique challenges. Lorne and Soraville drifted apart shortly after they caught the original Ghost of the Green. It's a complicated matter, not my story to tell. Suffice it to say, this case cuts deep and Lorne seems distracted. I hope you can help her keep her wits. As I said, I am... was the Chief Inquisitor for the Divine Prosecution's Hindalatus Wing, the division charged with solving adoctrinal crimes. Forgive me, it's a mouthful for newcomers, I know. I retired here to Russafeld a few decades ago. Well, I own the land, so in some ways I have even greater authority than I did as Chief Inquisitor. I still enjoy a bit of clout, too. Real leadership doesn't rely on titles, Kerem. Not a popular opinion here in Somerset, but true nonetheless. Ha! <laughs> Fair, I suppose. I may be retired, but I've spent the better part of three centuries examining crime scenes and interrogating criminals. When it comes to reading people, I am more than proficient. Let me guess. Thieves' Guild? Or is it Dark Brotherhood? Hmm. I won't pretend that bringing a criminal into this business sets my heart at ease, but you're no common hood. You're a professional. Who better to investigate a crime than a criminal?
So you'll be joining us. Good. Call me Lorne. No need for flowery titles. We Ultima have too many names already. I'm glad you're here. Outsiders often make the best admins. A fresh pair of eyes will be essential here. More essential than usual. It's a long and depressing story. One I'm not keen to recount. For now, just know that whoever murdered Halimorian took great pains to make it look like the work of the Ghost of the Green, a killer that Soraville and I apprehended decades ago. The Ghost always left a signature to let us know it was him. He killed each victim with a single wood elf arrow to the heart, then laid a fern over the body. The fern is here, but the shot was sloppy, and the arrow is of high elven make. It's odd. I need to examine the body in more detail. Can you do a sweep of the vineyard? If you find anything, blow this whistle. It also might be worth questioning people in town. They'll be more forthcoming with an outsider. What do you want? The Revelator's already questioned me and cut me loose. I just want to be here if something exciting happens. You don't. The Ghost of the Green has returned. Zen's Avenging Champion. Of course it's exciting. These long legs thought they executed him years ago, but now he's back, ready to dole out Deepwood justice. New around here, eh? Halimorian was a sap ass dandy, slapping wood elves with one hand and groping them with the other. The Ghost of the Green just did what the prosecution wouldn't. Good riddance. Murdered? No, executed. Executed by a righteous hand. Just have a look around, outsider. I'll bet my horns you'll find evidence of misdeeds. This was a long time coming. Hopefully it put these other long-legged prigs on notice. It really is too bad about Halamorian. I told him he shouldn't be so free with his politics. It's a different climate now, after all. You have to watch what you say around people. On the upside, it's good to be rid of a rival Vintner. Oh, darling, you're a bit late to the party if that's why you're here. I already submitted my statement to the Revelators, and my alibi is thrice confirmed. To be honest, the only reason I'm still here is to find one of my servant girls. Yes, a charming young wood elf named Farrell. I only recently brought her on. She used to work for the late Halimorian, but there was some kind of incident. I don't know the details. According to my other servant girl, she often came back here to visit the friends she left behind. She'd attend Bosma suppers, midday revels in the grape fields, that sort of thing. I encourage my girls to take time for themselves, within reason. Aren't you a cherry blossom? That would be lovely. Take care, Karen. Ah! You come to babble with Babblebrook? When came the killers? I had a look. Babblebrook knows what Babblebrook sings. Why can't you make sense of things? A ghost did bring the vintner's end, but even wraiths can have a friend. Don't you see? Death comes in twos. Friends and killers both win and lose. Killers and killed are two, it's true. So near, so near, the source of fear. But Babblebrook babbles too long, it seems. Best make haste, or we'll hear more screams. Another body. Delightful. Oh dear. Blood on her hands and blouse. 
But no slashing wounds. Hmm. This doesn't fit the pattern. The ghost always kills with a bow. This was spur of the moment. Unexpected. Maybe she fought back. Why do you insist on puzzling these things over like in a femme? You know the death memory ritual. It's a simple... Enough, Sorville. You know that's forbidden. Admonin, look around and see if you can find the source of this blood. You found something? So did I. It looks like Faril was strangled, not stabbed. This blood must be the attacker's. A sickle? Hmm. Blood on the blade. She must have used it to defend herself. Then the attacker hid it. This blood could be the key. I intend to, yes. I'm a fair hand at alchemy. You'd be surprised how useful it can be in my line of work. I've caught more killers with flasks and alembics than I have with any sword. My husband used to say I... Sorry. I suppose it's past time I told you. The ghost murdered 17 people before we caught him. His last victim was my husband. Soraville's wife committed suicide when she heard the news. They were having an affair, you see. It was a difficult time. It's fine, I just... Now you see why we needed a neutral party. <sighs> Enough. Let's get back on task. I'd like you to search Halamorian's villa. It's just southwest of here. He was unpopular. If we can find out why, we might be able to establish motive. Sorry, I don't mean to be checking up on you. I just think better when I walk. And the blood is still simmering in the Alembic. It will be some time before I have the results. Did you find anything of use in Halamorian's villa? From what I hear, the accusations are almost certainly true. So, Halamorian was making unwanted advances. Of course. The original ghost murder spree started with a high elf farmer who took liberties with his boss, my laborers. We never published the details of that investigation. 
It can't be a coincidence. This new ghost must be someone in the know. Someone close. None that I'm keen to share, not yet anyway. For now, let's go with what we know. The Wood Elves have motive. Soraville went down to the cottage east of here to look around. Meet him there, and see if you can shake anything loose. I have to think. I assure you, Chief, it would bring me no joy to unleash our revelators on your new home. But I'll have to, unless you let us take a look around. Fine. But just one of you, your partner. Do your work, then leave us in peace. One, then. I'll be sure to report your compliance to the Divine Prosecution. Like we have a choice in the matter. Come, join me for a meal. Meat's fresh enough. Delightful. Are you with a divine prosecution? My husband warned me you might come poking round. Hallamorian hated us. He abused our children and tried to drive us off. Of course the High Elves would suspect us. And our son Kellan, he... Never mind, please just go. We don't want any trouble. We just want to live here in peace. You... you really just want to keep him safe? Well... I'm not supposed to say this, but Kellan has been going on about the Ghost of the Green for weeks now. You know boys and their masked heroes. I didn't think there was any harm in it. But now... No, of course not. He's a good boy. I only mean that it could look suspicious because of his interest in those old legends. Besides, didn't the Ghost of the Green run around in a mad hunter's costume? Where would my son get something like that? Yes, I'm sure. Look, you're free to look around. Just try to... We're simple men and we don't have much. Hallimorian may have been a cruel bigot, but none of us would ever murder him for it. I swear. Bosma cuisine is truly revolting. I bought us as much time as I could. I hope you found something useful. A shrine? Hmm. There's an old shrine to Ifre west of here, the Red Temple. But from what Tarnamir told me, people rarely visit, filled with wild animals or some such. I only know of one entrance, a cave nearby. Follow me. We should split up. Don't want this little scamp slipping out behind us. I can handle this gap easily. You search the other hall.
awaiting her present. Yes. What's happening? Am I... The ghost recruited me, said he needed me. He gave me the costume, told me to kill as he would. Alamorian hated us, was going to kill us. I know it, after what he did to Faril. Faril is dead. Oh, divines, you've cursed me, haven't you? I only shot Halamorian, I swear it. Faru was so kind. I wanted Halamorian to pay. I thought... I thought the Ghost of the Green was a hero. I wanted people to see me that way. Never saw his face. He never said his name. I, I didn't need to know. I'd read the stories. I believed in him, and he saw something in me. <laughs> I never... Mother... Uh, I'm sorry. I was too slow. Damned Mer slipped right past me. Tall for a wood elf, and quick as a spooked hare. So, it really is the chief's son. Wait, what? What do you mean, another ghost of the green? Uh, the journal you showed me... Did Kellan kill Halamorian or not? What about the wood elf girl, Fariel? Did he kill her too? Yes. Show her the arrow immediately. Perhaps she can compare Kellon's blood to the blood on Fariel's sickle. At the very least, we'll be able to determine if Kellon killed Fariel. I'll be along as soon as I'm able. You're back, and not a moment too soon. Do you have something for me? A second ghost. I suspected as much. And he killed this Kellan with that arrow. Another high elf hunting arrow, like the one that killed Halimorian. Kellan had motive. This second ghost provided the costume, the weaponry. But why? So, this isn't about Halimorian. It isn't about the Wood Elves or Ultima Prejudiced. It's about me. It's always been about me. I knew it. I knew this was too convenient. I also knew the Mur who killed Farel couldn't be this Kalan. 
I just finished experimenting on the blood from Baril's sickle. It was Altma blood. This second ghost isn't some wood elf zealot. He's a high elf like me. I moved the bodies to Tarnamir's manor. We should... Maybe we missed something. What? This place has been... What happened here? Oh no... Oh no... Tarnamir? Tarnamir, are you here? Tarnamir? No... No... I can't... We found something. This is a message. Everything in this room. It's all meant to tell us something. What's that on the wall? Elevane is another name for the Helis Owl. The Elevanes lay their eggs, then abandon them. We use that word to describe people who are cold-hearted or aloof. And then there's the bodies. Arranged to mimic Mara's cross. This is about love, intimacy, or more likely, someone I failed to love. There's only one suspect left, a mer with means, motive, and deep understanding of the ghost of the green. It, no, it can't be. The ghost of the green ruined Sorville's life. Just as he ruined mine. If not for the ghost, Sorville's wife would likely still be alive. I have to know. I'm sorry for what you're about to see. Oriel, forgive me. Stand back, and I'll show you. You already saw how Kellan died. Now, we'll see the others. What's this? A tiny ghost of a queen? Ha! Run along, well, before... What have I done? Kellan definitely killed Halamorian. Now... Faril. Who are you? I'm afraid you've seen too much. You poor thing. Soravil was observing Kellan. When Thoril saw him, she slashed him with her sickle before he overpowered her. So it is you. Shame on you. The shame is Lord's old Mur. Now she'll have your death on her conscience, too. No, Soravil. This is you and you alone. Give my regards to my loving wife and Lord's degenerate husband. Lord. I know you're watching, Lorne. Now that I've broken your spirit and you've broken your vow, come to the place where my wife is buried. There, I will break your body. <sighs> I need some air. I'll be outside. Blame me for this. Is it not enough that I lost my husband? Damn him. His wife was buried here. This is where we'll find him. You're sticking by my side. Even after I use that death memory ritual. I appreciate that, Admonin. 
Truly. I suppose I owe you a bit of an explanation. I told you how the ghost of the green killed my husband. Sorville's wife, my husband's lover, was overcome with grief. I think she truly loved him. As soon as she heard the news, she climbed into the wash tub, opened her wrist, and died. Not for that, for what came after. Sorville wanted us to mend each other's wounds, perhaps even fall in love and make a life together. I just couldn't. I focused on the work and pushed him away. He grew detached, bitter. Now I need to stop him. Come, let's put an end to this. Sorville, I know you're here. What do you want from me? Oh, I've already taken so much. Your teacher, your honor, your pride. There's only one thing left for me to take. Your life. Ah, ah, Sorville. Don't worry about me. Go. We can't let Soraville escape again. Don't... Don't worry about me. Find Soraville. Go!
The ghost of the green's final victim. Time to die, Admanen. Soroville, is he? He is. It's done then, isn't it? I knew he wouldn't come quietly. In the end, I bear the blame. A killer, right beside me, and I didn't see it until more lives were lost. I'm glad you are here, Adminen. I will be. The arrow struck near my collarbone. Soroville was a gifted marksman. Maybe he couldn't see as well through the mask, or it was nerves. Or maybe he didn't really want me dead after all. Just one more question I'll never have answered. One more thing, if you're willing. I'm certain that Soroville never spoke to Kellan's parents, given that this was all his scheme to begin with. They lost their son, and they don't know why. It was you that avenged him. You should tell them that. I just need a moment here alone. Ironic that this came to a head in such a holy place. Maybe I can find some absolution here. Or at least some small measure of peace. He did. Perhaps I deserved it. But all those people, an innocent girl, a naive young Mur, a dear friend. They paid the price, while I still live. I don't know if I'll ever make peace with that. You're right, I suppose. I just wish I had been better. A better Juris Reeve, a better wife, a better friend. Maybe I could have prevented all this. I'm sorry. Thank you for your kind words. I will try to take them to heart. You have my word. I deserve to you know what's going Alfiel on. Stop Moloch? I don't. You. I, can walk in her I remember you. His body. Please. His you have to tell me can. what's going on. My son never came home. And now they tell me he's... They won't even let me see him. What happened to my boy? If for his mercy. How could you? Why didn't you save him? Damn this place. Damn the prosecution! Here, take this thing. I found it under Kellan's bed. I never want to see it again. I never want to see you again. I... God help me! A hard thing to witness. There are rarely any happy endings in this line of work. 
You just have to remember that things would be much worse had you not been here. That matters.